This is going to be a very different review for this figure than I expected to give it because uh, you guys know that I don't like to use the instructions when I figure out transformations on my transformers. I like to figure it out for myself. I find it fun. And uh, I was, every time I transformed, when I got this thing, every single time I transformed it, I missed one very crucial step of the transformation and my experience with this figure was miserable and I was prepared to give it a horrible fucking review. But I kid you not, I was setting up my station here to record his review and I had his instruction manual was just on the floor uh, because all, was what I do is I just rip the box open, leave the instructions in there and just chuck the box on the floor and mess with the figure. The instructions were just sitting there on the floor. I picked them up, they open a little bit, and I notice this crucial step of the transformation, and I go, Oh, no. So I pick him up off the shelf, and sure enough, I transform him while doing this step of the transformation that I uh, didn't, uh, wasn't doing. And now about four of my absolute biggest problems with this figure were uh, gone because I was an idiot. So with that being said, hello buddy, take a guilty new book to my review of the Transformers Legacy Animated Universe Prowl. And before we continue, let's talk about the redesign here for Animated. So, it's no secret that people were not very fond of Prime Universe RC, Legacy RC. But if you remember, I actually am a fan of this figure. It's definitely not my definitive Prime RC, and I really hope at some point Hasbro will give it another go and give us a much more faithful Prime RC, because as you all know, Prime RC is my favorite Transformers character of all time. And, uh, however, despite the fact that this is not my definitive Prime RC, I love this figure because I love how I love messing with it. I think the transformation is extremely fun, and I think the alt mode is fantastic, and the robot mode is fun to play with, and I like the accessories. If you want to know more, go watch my review. But this figure is probably, this is probably like the most pan figure in all of Legacy. I don't think a single other Legacy figure, maybe Blitzwing, has received the amount of black backlash that this thing has. And honestly, no, nah, no, nah, Blitzwing definitely did not get anywhere near as much as this. People just shit all over this thing. And I genuinely like this figure. I like this figure's transformation so much. It's such a fun and satisfying transformation. And I use that to transition here into this Prowl figure. Because in every way, this is absolutely meant to be like the dichotomy here. Where we have the animated and we have the prime. And I'm super happy to have both of these in my collection. Now, this redesign, it's time to rip the band-aid off. A lot of you already know this, but I, no offense to Derek J. Wyatt, rest in peace, but I have never been a fan of the art style of Transformers Animated. I'm sorry. I find the show genuinely ugly to look at. Again, I mean, no offense. I'm sorry. It's just a matter of opinion, but I, it has always affected my opinion of that show. I think the writing in Animated is phenomenal. I think the character development is phenomenal, but I do not enjoy watching that show. I do not enjoy the animation, and I do not enjoy the art style, and I do not enjoy the design of the characters. And I know this one's completely unfair, but I fucking despise animated Sentinel Prime. I know everybody does, so it's completely unfair, but I thought I would throw that in there as well. Every time Sentinel Prime is on screen and animated, I'm literally like, tw my eye is like twitching from how much I want to punch the d motherfucker in the face. Just punch my fucking TV. But yes, I'm not a fan of the design of Transformers Animated. And so... I really, really like this redesign. I genuinely really like this animated. This is not the same deal as Prime Anime, as Prime RC. I genuinely like the way this looks. And I also think that it's a really faithful, it's a really faithful adaptation of the design. Like if, if animated had looked like this, I would have enjoyed it more. I know that's probably, I know that probably made so many animated fans angry and I'm really sorry. I do not intend, to, I never intend to piss anybody off. I never want to be that guy who just tries to take everybody off. I try not to do that. I try to give you my genuine thing, but it's just my honest opinion, man. I, I'm, I have the same, I have a lot of these kind of opinions. Like I'm not a fan of uh, the art style of Penny and Stocking. Penny and Stocking with Garterville. If you're an anime fan, you probably know what Penny and Stocking is. I don't like the art style. I really 
really wish that it looked more like a regular anime. I do not like the art style of uh, Penny is Talking. Love the show, show is great, but I do not like the art style. And that's per that entire argument is just shifts over to animated for me. It's just me. It's just me. And I'm sorry if that pisses you off, but it's just me. And I love the redesign of this character. I think they crushed it. Getting in here on the sculpt, I love how they did the head sculpt on this figure. I know everybody probably hates it because it doesn't, it doesn't capture the, the, it doesn't capture the character. He doesn't have like the, the glasses that like fly off his face and are like going like completely off his face. He doesn't have that. But I like this. I like the way that this looks. I genuinely like this head sculpt. And then aside from that, honestly, the entire rest of the design is pretty much just animated prowl. This are a little bit more chunky, but aside from that, he's got all the cues. The, the chest is dead on, 100% dead on. The back pieces, he didn't have this handlebars, but that's fine, not a big deal. And then on the side here, you have the details right there. You even have the light, the, the little lights on the on the back of his forearms right there. Really, really awesome. And then you get down here, you have all these, you have the shurikens on this. It's literally just the original animated figure, which I never had. I had a few animated figures. Most of them I loved. Really wish I had kept them. Um... Like, one I had was Oil Slick, and he was fucking awesome. I would love to get him. And then Lockdown. Lock animated Lockdown is one of my favorite deluxe class Transformers of all time. I need to get that figure again, man. I remember I took that thing with me everywhere as a kid. Anyway, getting back to this... This figure is is almost completely like it, it. It literally is like a dead ringer. It almost looks exactly the same. It just has like this new head sculpt and this slightly different like style to the the, the to the body. Like honestly, like the only thing that if if they had given this head sculpt a more accurate animated prowl and then maybe thinned up this, you wouldn't have even known that it was a stylized take. And I am a big fan of this. And this is what I want to see when they eventually attempt Prime again. Because I know they're gonna attempt Prime again. Because right now Hasbro in that phase of giving us what we want. They're finally listening to the fans. And they've definitely heard that people were not a fan of the Prime redesigns. Not all of them. I like Bulkhead quite a bit. Bulkhead is a real... I like that Bulkhead figure in every in every way, shape, and form. But, like, Prime RC is a big one. Like, they're going through... They're already doing it with Skyquake. I haven't gotten Skyquake yet. I do definitely want to get him, but... Um, so, yeah, I, I like this, and I, I'm definitely excited for them to eventually loop back around and give this Prime thing another try, and maybe go this route. You can you can stylize things a little bit to make it match with the rest of Legacy, like they did with the head sculpt of this figure. But aside from that, I want everything else to be the to be the character. I want it to be as faithful as this is to animated Prowl. So that's my two cents on it. But with that being said, I want to talk about a few things about this guy real quick. First off, tolerances and build quality are glorious on this thing. My goodness gracious, they put so much love into this. Every single joint on this is perfect perfectly tolerance. Every single joint on this is perfectly tolerance. His plastic quality is immaculate. Nothing is floppy or loose whatsoever. It's beautifully done. All of the articulation is really, really beautifully done. Even like uh, down here at the feet. The feet are actually on ball joints, but they're so nice and snug and everything is just glorious about the, uh, about the quality on this thing. It's amazing. Another thing I want to talk about with this thing is the paint. The paint is just absolutely exquisite on this fucking figure. These right here beautifully picked out the entire chest absolutely gorgeously picked out in that beautiful gold paint the head as well the paint on this guy is absolutely stellar getting into some of the uh, features of this guy one thing i really do want i quickly want to touch upon is his articulation in some ways his articulation is fantastic but in other ways it's not that great for example he only has 90 degree bend at the elbow right there and i'm really over this like i feel like we have reached the point where action figures need to have double joints at their elbows like literally like everything I have, I know I'm kind of being a bit of a, like, if you if you watch most of my reviews, you know I've kind of said stuff like, if they have, like, a gun or something, like, a, like the, you need to get them into a sharpshooter pose, then I need double jointed elbows, but if not, then kind of not, but honestly, that was just copium, I really do think we have reached the, we have reached a point where all action figures of any kind need to have double jointed elbows, like, it's just single jointed jointed elbows just don't cut it anymore, or at least have it be able to go up, at least to 
to about like here. It needs to be able to have like an acute angle at least, at least 90 degrees does not cut it anymore in my personal opinion. Uh, but aside from that, the rest of the articulation is great. Like the legs are completely uninhibited, uh, uninhibited. You can move them back, forward, all this. You can even bring his feet like forward like this if that's any use to you whatsoever, but you can use this to like get a full double knee bend right here. So yeah, the articulation is great. And then the feet can do everything. They can go up, down, fucking tilt. Like the feet are just completely unhindered. But now let's talk about the one of the big problems with this guy that is still a problem after me figuring out the transformation snafu. The accessories on this guy. So he comes with these two shurikens right here. These are very faithful to the Animated Prowl. Again, being very faithful to Animated Prowl. Fail, uh, picking up the slag where this figure did not meet. Not having accurate accessories. Not having an accurate representation of the way that this character looked in Transformers Prime. This figure is an absolute light. It, it's literally just all all the points that you wanted from 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 Legacy uh, RC, but done right. Everything you wanted was done right with this guy. And he has these shurikens, and oh man. Unfortunately though, <laughs> the shurikens were executed horribly. Uh, you've probably already seen everybody else talk about this. The shurikens tab onto here, and they tab on very, very securely. That's that's not a problem. They, they tab on absolutely phenomenal. You can transform them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. These will never fall off. They're phenomenally tolerant in that. However, <laughs> what these are supposed to do is you're supposed to take them off and then you spin them and they're supposed to open. Every single one of the people that I, every single review I have seen, including, and my copy, all of them, not one of these shurikens works. Not one of them do. They are absolutely miserably designed. They literally just, they don't work. If you want to open them, you gotta, like, break it on the teeth right there of the ratchet and just pull it open right there. Like, there's no, but it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't do the thing. It doesn't do the thing. However, if you do want to do that, if you do want to like break them open with the ragged, which is definitely eventually going to break them at some point, just a warning, but I mean, it doesn't work anyway, so who cares? Um, you can, uh, if this hand right here is perfectly sculpted to shift that in right there, and then he holds onto it right there, which is pretty darn cool. And you get two of these. This one right here does the exact same thing in every way, and it's just as horribly made as this one, where it does not work or do the thing it's supposed to do whatsoever. So, have fun with with that. Um, I will say only this hand is made to do that. So this hand holds this thing perfectly. Like it just goes in there. It's meant to do that. This hand is just a five millimeter port. So you can plug any other uh, guns or whatever if you want to. Uh, he doesn't come with anything else. He just comes with the shurikens, but that is pretty great. And at the end of the day, with how bad that these shurikens are executed, and they are, they are really, really badly executed, um, it is, it's not a problem because you literally just leave them on the, 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 the figure forever. Like just never take them off ever and you'll honestly just forget that they were ever even a thing. Unless, you know, you get him out and you want to play with him and you're like, he needs some kind of weapon. Oh yeah, they're in his leg! <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much everything that agrees to go over with Legacy Pro- uh, I keep saying Prime, uh, Prowl. Uh, Legacy Animated Universe, uh, Prowl. Let's do some comparisons. Alright, y'all, real quick, I'm gonna ask you if you guys are enjoying this video, please go down there and give it a like. I would very much appreciate that. Alrighty, for comparison with, with Animated Prowl here, of course, is with the Prime Universe Legacy RC, and I really like the way that these two figures look together. Honestly, I do. It actually, like, retroactively makes me kind of like the RC even more. I don't know. They just look good together. They're, they're clearly meant to be, like, kind of, like, I don't know, like, two sides of the same coin or something like that. You know, they're both the motorcycle characters of these two respective shows, and they're both, like, the redesigns. So, I don't know. I like this. And then here he is with a few other Legacy Deluxes right there. Love the size that they get. I love, like, I love, I just love, like, the, uh, consistent size, the consistent height of the Legacy Deluxes, man. It's really nice. That made sense in my head. I'm sure, I hope, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. I, I really like the, cons the, like, consistent size of these guys, man. Just makes them all look so good together. And then here's some of the Legacy Evolution Voyagers, Leo Prime and Tarn right there. And that's all my Legacy Evolution figures so far. I'll definitely be getting a lot more, but there you go. That's my little collection so far. And here's Earthrise Prime, just because he's always uh, he's always a reliable comparison. I'm sure he's like, he's just always useful. And here he is with Jason and Rimuru. Any transformation for this guy, first off, you want to flip in his hands and bring them up just like this. We want to, we want to flip this little piece up right there, get out of the way, and we want to rotate his feet, and we want to have his, we want to rotate his waist, and we want to have this kickstand foot right here. This needs to be facing back this way, just like this. Now, we are going to get transformation is a little, you have to do, you have to do it in a very specific order or it won't work. So, next thing you want to do here is you want to untab the torso piece right here, and then this is that crucial step of the transformation that I missed in my first, uh, in my first couple, um, when I had this figure originally. First off, we're going to move these pieces down here, and then you have to flip the head out on this little panel right here. You have to flip out that panel. That was the thing that I missed every single time, and why? And if you don't do that, it ruins everything. I'll talk about that in, when I talk about the vehicle mode. But now you want to flip this entire piece out, and you want to get these 
pieces out like this. And at this point, you want to flip these little handlebars down like that on both sides. And then you want to get the head right here. And you want to just get that up there. And you have to like, there we go. You just have to kind of work that in there. You can see on the back of his head, he has some of the, uh, he has a little like driving things like the, like the 2 Series red car. And then you want to fold this piece in like this. You want to rotate this piece like that and this piece like that. So you want to have that configuration. Then you want to take his arms. These are on brackets and you want to bring them to the back and connect them in the back right there. And that's a pretty cool step. And then you can just fold down that seat right there. And then this is where the transformation kind of loses a little bit of steam. You want to fold this piece in and you have a little cutout right there in the arms. And you're just going to shove the kneecap of Prowl right here. And you're just going to shove that into that little hole right there. And it just gives you like a guy hole to put it there. And then you want to get that piece out of your way. And then you want to take this leg here, fold this in, bring these pieces around. And yes, there's very little clearance for it. It's not very well thought out. And then you want to bring the foot in, the leg in, and you want to hit the foot, just completely plug up this little spot right here. Just get the foot in there right there. It'll kind of find its way home just like that. So you want to have that. And then you want to finish up just by bringing his foot down here. And then you all, first off, you have to uh, take out the, the um, what's that called? The kickstand now, because if you don't, you're not going to be able to get in there and do it. And you just want to bring this down and tab it into these slots on either side of this piece right here. Just like that. And also, there are little slots right here that are also going to tab in right there. You want to get that on both sides. And there you have Legacy Animated Universe Prowl. The kickstand doesn't work the best. There you have him in. Ah, uh, there you have him in his motorcycle mode. I ain't gonna lie, man, there's absolutely nothing enjoyable or satisfying about this transformation. Like, again, this is yet another one that is just, this transformation is not bad, it's 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 perfectly fine, you can do it, it's not like a Studio Series Bayverse figure, or some of the Studio Series Bayverse figures that are just so unbelievably fiddly that they just don't want to do what they're supposed to do. He does what he's supposed to do, just every aspect of this transformation is just not satisfying. Like, you're just curling him into a ball, bringing these back. Like, a few pieces are kind of fun, like flipping the seat down is pretty fun, and then the way the arms fold back, that one's alright, but everything with the legs, it, it's just, there's nothing enjoyable about it. And then you get the bike mode, and here's where I think a lot of people need to cool their jets with Prime RC. I don't care what your problems are with Prime, with Legacy Prime RC's robot mode. This bike mode is glorious. Everything about this bike mode is beautiful. Everything about this bike mode is beautiful. This does not hold up to this. Now, I mean, it's, it's still perfectly fine. It's still a fine alt mode. Like, it still resembles a bike. It looks like a bike. You could probably get a core class figure on there if you wanted to. The handlebars look very good. You know, the wheels turn and you can get it and the kickstand is out and it works and... Yeah, it's, it, it's a... Well, the kickstand's actually kind of bad on this guy. Let me see. I have, I have gotten him to rest on it, though. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go, I got it. Nobody moved. There you go. So it takes a lot of work to get him on the kickstand, especially compared to RC, which literally just like, she just, it's literally like, it's literally like fucking barely even a thing right there. She's like trying to, yeah, this thing is like so, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But uh, the bike mode is good, I, I guess. I guess the bike mode is good. You know, you have all of this stuff right here, you know, the legs all folded up, but hey, I guess it's okay. I mean, the, the animated figure definitely did a better job with the bike mode. The bike mode is definitely better on the animated figure. And also, I, I don't own the animated figure, but the transformation from what I've seen also definitely looks more satisfying on the animated figure. So it's probably not as good as the animated figure, but I mean, that animated figure is probably very difficult to get these days. So I don't know. I haven't looked into it. But uh, yeah, the the animated universe Prowl alt mode is, is fine. It, it's pretty good. It, it's a perfectly workable alt mode. I mean, y what you want is a mode motorcycle and that's what you're getting you're getting a motorcycle and it can roll it does take a while to get it to stand up on that kickstand but once you get it you know you get it i actually do like the way the front looks actually where the way the feet like comes up there and closes that around that's pretty cool i'd like to see maybe if they could maybe make use of that kind of thing in another way but maybe do it a little bit better because here like another problem i have with this figure overall is just that the transformation just feels so half-assed like it feels like nothing ever actually does what you does like something that you should be doing in a transformation like you just kind of stick pieces in these little like in these like hollow little shapes that they're supposed to fit into and then you have yeah like this like there's no like tab or anything to get that foot in there you just you just close it up like a door and there's nothing that like keeps it like you can even see like a little crack in there it's like i don't know it feels like this transformation was just not a hundred percent thought all the way through maybe more of the budget went into the build quality and the tolerances because like i said those are excellent on this figure but overall the alt mode is nothing really all that special but it's also not anything bad either. It's just kind of an alt mode. But before we get into the final, the, the comparisons in the bike mode and the final thoughts on Legacy Animated Universe Prowl, I want to talk to you guys about my little thing I had with uh, with this guy when I didn't transform him properly. 
I told you in the transformation segment that it was his head. His head is on a flap that you're supposed to move up. And I did not figure that out. That was the step in the instructions that I figured out and fixed like 90% of the problem. Because when you do not know about this, when you do not know about this head panel that flips down and you have his head like this, nothing works. Like this piece comes up and is just like the most crunchy, unpleasant thing ever and doesn't want to go in its home. And I was like, like squeezing it like, why isn't it fucking going? And then you finally get it in there and then this uh the the foot pieces down here don't have enough clearance to tab in and I like like I like to like squeeze it in there and tab it together and then the uh the kickstand was literally worthless like I could have tried for years in this configuration with the head not flipped down and I never would have gotten this thing to stand ever <laughs> absolutely never so yes make absolute sure when you transform this guy that you flip that head panel up and you don't be like me in my defense this is like the first time i've ever actually like missed a step in figuring out a transformation for myself um but yeah definitely from now on if i have a major issue with a figure like i did with this thing like when i went before i was getting ready to sit down and be like the robot mode's great but the transformation in the alt mode are garbage that was gonna be my review originally and then i found on that one step and was like, oh, oh, <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to throw this in here. For comparison, of course, again, here he is with Legacy Prime Universe RC and pretty much just take everything I said about the robot mode comparison and copy and paste it for this segment right here. I think they look great together. I really, really do. These are, they're basically the exact same size. I don't know, these two toys, they just kind of make like a pretty cool little duo, like a cool little set of figures. And I'm really happy I have both of them. Honestly, I feel like if you're, if you have one, you should probably get the other. Honestly, I do. They're really cool. It's almost like they're like connected. I don't know. And then here's also Legacy Override right here. So you can see how she looks, how he looks with another figure right there. Never know what to compare things in with vehicle mode. It's just like, yeah, it's another vehicle. At least in this case, because I don't have any other, I don't have anything related to animated aside from the, the Prime Universe RC. But I guess I could just give you like core class Optimus here if you want. There you go. But with that being said, final thoughts on Legacy Animated Universe Prowl. Actually, after figuring out my fatal flaw with this figure, I actually like him quite a bit, actually. Um, he is the first deluxe I picked up from Legacy Evolution, so he's obviously my favorite because he's the first one I picked up, but... I don't think he's gonna be, I don't think he's gonna be too, uh, I don't think he's gonna be easy to beat, for sure. He's a nice figure. His tolerances and build quality are excellent. I think they are really, really amazing. Honestly, compared to some of the deluxes you see back here on this shelf, like, even like Cosmos, a like highly sought after, highly beloved, uh, thing, this guy definitely feels heavier and nicer quality than Cosmos or something like, uh, Jazz or Legacy Kickback. Yeah, Kickback is definitely, Kickback was always one of the highest quality figures of Legacy. He definitely feels heavier than, uh, Prowl right here. What about like, let's say, let's say Voyager class Optimus Primal. Yeah, honestly, he feels about the same weight as a Voy as Voyager class Optimus Primal. So yeah, build quality and plastic quality in this guy are absolutely excellent. So that's absolutely amazing. But the transformation's nothing special. There's a couple aspects of it that are sort of fun, like folding the arms back, but a lot of things, it has to be done in a very specific order, and if you do anything out of order or you forget a certain uh, problem, it's going to really hurt your experience. It's not like, it's not the best transformation by far. Definitely not. Um, and the alt mode is also nothing special. It's not. It's nothing to write home about. It's fine. It does the job. If It does the job of being a uh, an alt mode for uh, an animated prowl, but definitely, if you're buying this figure, you're going to be buying it for the robot mode. And honestly, I, I, it's, it's I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. The, the robot mode is really good. It's really fun to play with. It definitely could have used some double jointed elbows, that's for sure. And I have no idea what the hell happened with these shurikens. These shurikens are so poorly manufactured, man. <laughs> Very like that was like really, really bad. But um if you you can all you can of course pry them open if you want to, and it is pretty cool that he can hold one so perfectly in this hand right here. And yeah, build quality is great, articulation for the most part is great. Really could have used some double jointed elbows, but aside from that, great. Pay quality is amazing yeah overall it's good and if you want a new animated prowl or you you know you just collect leg you just collect you know new transformers because hasbro's crushing it right now i say pick him up i say grab him for the for the deluxe class price i'd say he's worth it um he's definitely not like one of my favorite like looking back here I like, I like a bunch of my deluxes well actually i don't know i do like him quite a bit 
more than quite a few of these. I don't know. A lot of these I really love when I got them, but they kind of like, like the magic kind of wears off over time. That's probably going to happen with him as well. But I like him. I like this figure. I think he's pretty cool. If you haven't picked him up, I, I would say pick him up. Definitely grab him. Uh, real quick, before we leave, all of you people who stuck around, you get a very quick little treat. So I had decided to buy into the core class Dinobots, the uh, Volcanicus. I was not going to get them because I thought they looked like trash, but then I got kind of fell down the rabbit hole of watching the reviews for Sludge and Slag, and I actually thought they looked really fucking cool. And at the end of the day, they're core classes. They're extremely inexpensive. So I went and picked up Sludge, and uh, for you guys who stayed around, you guys are going to get a very quick mini review of Sludge. And I do mean a very quick mini review because when I get all of these Dinobots, I'm going to do a full review. I'm going to review all of them in one video. I have Slag and Grimlock in my pile of loot right now. So, uh, yes, but quick mini review of Sludge. He is glorious. Oh my god, this thing is literally like the best Happy Meal toy that has ever existed. Watch how fast I do this transformation, dude. This transformation is literally like the greatest greatest thing ever. It's so addicting, man. I kid you not, I took this thing to like, I had like this thing I had to go to, an important thing I had to go to, and the only thing I took with me aside from my phone was this figure. And I was thoroughly entertained by this figure, man. This thing is so much fun. Again, definitely, I'm gonna, you're gonna get the full review of this guy when I do my big Dinobot Core Class review, but he's glorious. Go get him, go get him, dude. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like and subscribe for some more Transform reviews in the future or anime figure reviews in the future as well. And with that being said, this is DK Guillotine. I'll sign